people of the interwebs, it's Friday Night Jaws and today we have a green, white and blue tempo deck to show off for you guys. Let's jump right in and have a look at the deck list for you guys, see what we're playing in this deck. I'm going to kick things off with two Silver, Silver Advocate, which is a 2 drop 2 free creature with Vigilance. As long as we control 6 or more lands, Silver Advocate and land creatures we control get plus 2, plus 2. I really like El Silver Advocate, it's a really good uh, early um, beatdown card. And it's fairly good in the mid to late range games. Uh, it helps with the, the land creatures that we do play in this deck uh, to get in for a bit more extra damage, but I do like something out of a lot. <coughs> Playing three Deathwatch Recruiter. Uh, really good that we can um, look at the top three cards of our library to look at for a creature card and then put it into a hand. And then we can flip it over to make our creature cards cost less and hit for more damage. Um, really. I do like uh, this side more so because it helps the beat down um, and helps us keeping keeping um, the consistency coming with the amount of creatures that are played in this deck. Uh, we're playing two Sylvan Ranger, kind of an obvious spell to play in this sort of deck. Uh, we're playing three colours, so we need some sort of colour fixing, and Sylvan Ranger fits that slot. Uh, playing two Elvish Visionary. I uh, really do, I uh, like Elvish Visionary, it's one of my favourite uh, green common cards. I like that it's a nice little bit of a cantrip and it replaces itself, so it's it's pretty decent, it's a nice little chump blocker. Uh, playing two, Sky Rider Ralph. When I was originally building this deck I was debating between playing two and three. Uh, I decided on two in the end because I felt that having three would not be consistent enough to uh, be able to drop this for a free mana 3-3. Three, three. Uh, which is what we really want to be with, with this sort of card, but uh, yes, yeah, so we decided to play two and it, it, it looks pretty good at that. I'm uh, playing two Decoration in Stone, uh, good solid removal spell to get rid of uh, a threat and replace it by a, a harmless uh, clue token. Uh, playing two Bygone Bishop, it's really efficient in this deck because of obviously there's a lot of two and three casting cards. Um, uh, uh, so we can also make a clue token to um, to to draw into more threats and more answers. So it's it's really good and it helps us. So if we ever get raft, we're not completely dead in in the water. So it's really good at that. Playing the single ton of Nissa Vastwood Seer, as we know, you know we want to play this one when we got set with our seventh land. So we can flip it over for Nissa Sage Animist, and then we can start gaining some little bit of a card advantage, and then hopefully close out the game by her minus seven ability. Uh, playing two Tyler Tracker, this is pretty much featured in every green deck that I play at the moment. It's just so efficient, uh, dropping a land uh, and getting a clue token is very, very good. Uh, sacrificing clue tokens to make this guy bigger is efficient. Um, I do like the interaction with this card and by Gombish, they do interact really well. And yeah, it's a nice little bit of synergy uh, between those two cards. Uh, playing free Reflector Mage, one of my favourite um, uncommons in Oath of the Gatewatch. Uh, I do like Reflector Mage a lot. Um, the fact that it bounces a creature to their own, ha their own hand and they can't play that spell the next turn is really good. I do like gaining that sort of tempo hit. It's really efficient and um, can sometimes set an opponent back a turn that they necessarily uh, might have needed that card, but it's pretty good. Uh, playing three Bounding Kratos. Again, this is one of my favorite Smic, um cards. I really like it. Uh, it's a really good combat trick, Bounding Kratos is, because we can untap creatures, we can tap creatures down. We can even use Bounding Kratos as a blocker as well. So I do like it that it's got so much flexibility. Um, it's one. Of, it's a really good, efficient um, combat trick. Playing two always watching. Uh, I wasn't. I wasn't aware that this deck was going to be so creature heavy when I was originally buying and building it. But um, this card seems efficient in a creature heavy deck. Uh, it's a very very good card. Uh, plus one plus one is vi and vigilance is quite huge. And it, it, it definitely changes up the attacking and blocking strategies. Uh, playing two, Whirler Rogue. Uh, I like Whirler Rogue personally. I think it's a really good card. We get a, f we always get a three form with this card. You know, we get the two two and two additional one ones. The fact that we have efficiency and synergy with our our clue tokens to make creatures unblockable is really really good. So I, I like that that we can get some sort of 
added value from our clue tokens in this deck. Uh, playing two Wonderland Wanderer, again this seems to be a card that seems to be featured quite a bit in a lot of decks that I play where it's more than two, three colours. Three colours minimum, this card gets all included, you know. Uh, it's a very, very good, efficient card and um, I do like Wonderland Wanderer. It's a great card even at five mana, even at four mana being a five five with Trample and Vigilance is really, really strong. Uh, playing a single ton of Gideon Ally is the card. The only planes walking is there, but it seems to suit this style of deck. Stacks very sort of creature heavy. Um, so Gideon helps this this deck by being able to turn himself into a creature and also make tokens as creatures. So it's very good. Yeah, it doesn't have very great interaction with the always watching, but you know what? That's not a big deal at the end of the day. But I do like Gideon as uh, Ally of Zendikar in this deck. Uh, playing one Archangel Averson. Uh, we're playing a very heavy creature based deck, so Archangel Averson seems like a, uh, an obvious choice, really. Uh, we want to be able to leave it in a position where we can like uh, potentially block or attack and, ha and leave our opponents uh, a bit short. And uh, obviously, Averson the Pure Fire is just really, really strong and it can close out games as well. Uh, playing two Outland Colossus. This card sort of fell out of favour for me for uh, some time and it's only recently that I've begun to play it again. Um, I, I think it's mainly because like I'm playing Whirler Road that I'm playing this card. I just think this card can end games so quickly uh, with Whirler Road around. So it, it seems really good at that sort of, uh, with that sort of uh, thought process. Uh, Lands this time we're going to be two planes, four islands, four forests two Lumbering Falls, uh, two Canopy Vista, two Prairie Stream, two Hinterland Harbour, two Glacial Fortress, two Sunpatter Grave, and four Evolving Wilds. So round one against LZR, Lars I'm gonna call them. Um, let's see how this hand's gonna look. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep this hand. I'm not, not uh, too disappointed with this sort of start. It seems pretty okay. I'm going to start with Glacial Fortress here. I'm not going to play the Sun Paddle Grove. I'll play the Forest on the next turn and we will lead into the Elvish Visionary and then turn after leading to the Bygone Bishop. Uh, our opponent plays a Swamp. Pass the turn over. And we're going to play our Forest and get the Elvish Visionary out there. So that's what we're going to do. We've led ourselves quite nicely into Reflective Mage as well by doing that that early play and we draw a forest off the Elvish Visionary. Pretty good. Let's see what he wants to do. Plays another Swamp. And plays a Silent Visitor. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Okay, so um, I think we will attack for one here. Uh, we know we want now. We want to tackle one. We'll leave our creature back behind. Uh, what we will do is we'll play some battle grave. We'll go for the bygone bishop, and we will pass the turn right back over. And knowing full well that he is not going to swing for the three one, because we will easily block with our our one one here. Um, and he's got to basically have. Um, I think it's either me or them with no cards in hand. Or beginning of each play, if if that player has no cards, so he can have no cards as well. But it looks like he's a mono black, which is unusual. I haven't seen mono black in uh, jewels for some time. Playing dead weight. I'm guessing on no playing on the uh, one one. Interesting play there. And I'm guessing he's going to attack for three here. Okay, we're obviously going to take the three and go to uh, seventeen. There's no need to uh, block in this situation. That also tells me that he doesn't have Grass of Darkness in his hand. Uh, he doesn't have any sort of other removal. So we are going to lead with the uh, Reflector Mage. We're going to get Clue Token. We are going to put the Asylum Visitor back into his hand and he can't cast it for the next turn. We're also going to play Lumbering Force so then we are tapped out. And we will attack for two in the air, put our opponent on 18 life. We're in a pretty good, strong early position here. We can drop, easily drop the Alwyn Colossus the next turn, uh, which is going to be quite scary because that will put some definite early pressure on our opponent. 
tent. Ooh, hello. What's this guy? Oh, he's a 2-2. Two -two. That's interesting. Does he do anything else other than be a 2-2? Two -two? Let's see what we'll draw first, then we'll check the card. Okay, we drew another reflect image. When he answers the we have a plus one plus count for each zombie card in your graveyard. Okay, alright, okay. So, uh, we will attack for four here, I think. And then we'll play Reflect Mage. No, we won't play Reflect Mage. Uh, we could, we could play Reflect Mage, but I'm, I'm not really getting it. I'll play the Outland Colossus here. So he cannot come in for damage off that guy. We are really putting on the back foot here. Okay, so for a flashback marauder. We're gonna get obviously get rid of the reflect mage here. It makes perfect sense. Earth now we can stay. There's a crumbling message which will give him a black man. And then he casts a sign of visitor again. Uh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Um, well, we will attack for we'll attack for the damage in the air and on the ground. We know he can't block. He can't gang up on it, so there's no worries there. You can only block one creature. Yep, sure. Uh, we will reflect to make the 2-2 two -two. this time now. And then we'll play a land. So then we can um, we can definitely investigate on 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 the end of the turn. And the fly is gonna die here. That's gonna be my prediction here. Yeah? Surely. Yeah, I was gonna say the fly had to die in that position. There's no way anything else was dying in that position. Down and we'll go for another one. Leave the 
Thirty Mage back. We don't need it just as yet. position is great. So we will use uh, we're on rogue's ability to make six six obviously. We'll that, that one and that one. Make it unblockable. Eight to six. I think on six. This turn deal 17 points of damage to me, or somehow destroy everything on the board, which I don't think you can do. We'll continue playing because no need to quit. Yep, sure, make them make the tokens, it's not gonna make a blind bit of difference. Uh, we will go for a fresh shuffle. And we will do the same again. For you guys, one way. Okay, game two is against Falga. So let's see how our hand's gonna look against Falga. It looks mm, very mediocre, actually. Uh, we'll stick with this, so we'll go for that. And we will go for a plane off the Evolving Wilds. Uh, so we set ourselves up for the Always Watching on turn three. And we'll go for that now. We do have a turn two play, so we will go still for the planes like we said we were going all along. We will go for the Elvis Visionary on our turn. Ooh, double Elvis Visionary, that's, that's pretty awesome. I do like that. First, I think turn three is going to be taken up by always watching. Pretty sure, I don't think anything's going to be taken up that spot. You never know. Could drop something interesting. Hey, measuring bully. That is interesting. That's very interesting. I think he's playing. Um, hmm. Well, we could go for what's watching. We could also go for Bounty Classes play. I think I like the Bounty Classes play better. I do like the Bounty Classes play better. Uh, we shall wait. See what our opponent wants to do first of all, though. Oh, 
damage for you, my friend. Uh, we'll go for a... Uh, I was watching in this position. And we'll add a forest to the battlefield. And we'll attack 4 6 in total. Well, the majoring bullet has to attack. And T one's attacking as well. So here's my prediction: he does have some sort of burn spell. Obviously, he has to have a burn spell in his position. Um, some sort of play. Um, I think we're okay in this position. But uh, what I am going to do is I am going to block T one. I know that you're going to play something. Yep, Twin Bolt, that's fine. Kill it. We'll do it to my face, one or two of Yeah. Sure. It wasn't the way you wanted me to block, was it really? Titan Strength to make it live? No. Okay. Oh, it'll well, live anyhow. Okay. I had a feeling there was some sort of a. Uh, Stuff going on. Yep, sure. One eleven, no big deal. We'll attack for four. And I think we're just gonna play our iron classes. Another big creature in your way. There you go, nice big seven seven in your way. Free space. Okay, can't be blocked. Yeah, can't do anything about that. Nothing I can do about that. I'm taking three. No measuring body yards to the battlefield. That's fine. We will attack again. For um, 11. Yep. Yep. And the Declaration of Estonia, last free check. And we'll play Tyler's Tracker. And we'll play Alliance. Just lost all the early momentum he did have. Yeah, we're going to carry playing. We're going to carry on. Yeah, sure, finger nice. Finger nice, we don't really care about. That's attack. Should be blocking the summer seven. That's fine, well. Draw a card off the Tyler's Tracker. And we're on for 5. Got 9. We could have killed them that turn actually if we played the line, but hey, you know what? We didn't. And we did that. And we'll play another land. I'm pretty confident in this position that we've won this game. I can't see him doing anything else. Yeah, sure. Good and game. Oh yes. So that's two now for the deck. Awesome. Let's see how game three goes. And game three against Nivzalunan. Nivzalunan. Don't even know how you pronounce that. But uh, this starting hand yet? We're gonna keep this. This is okay. This is fine. Uh, start with the canopy vista. We can lead into the Hinton Harbor on the next turn. Get the Sylvan Ranger going, maybe go for another planes, maybe? 
Yeah, I'll probably go for the planes of the Sullivan Ranger. Yeah, and probably follow that up, yeah. Yeah, definitely go for the planes now. We've just pulled up, uh, always watching, definitely the planes. Uh, seems like very cool. Play the Sky Rider up next to it. Play. We're rogue. And yep. Get him for some damage. Go in for one. It's not much, but it's something. Play a forest in this position. So that we can build this 3 3. Feathered Visions. That's pretty cool. Alright. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright. Uh, attack for four. And we'll make a Will Rogue. More threats to the battlefield. Yep, shot. Draw card and lose two life. That's fine. We don't mind doing that. We don't mind doing that. Yes, yeah, shot. Sure. I think it doesn't untap. Does it not untap? I think it doesn't. I think it doesn't untap on my next turn. Not too sure. Yeah, I was right. It doesn't. Oh, that's interesting. That's cool. That's pretty cool. Well, we will attack for damage. We'll get in there for an eight for some damage. Not 100% sure what your deck's trying to do yet. Lightning axe. Okay. Five damage to this, yeah. That's okay. Three damage. That's less damage than we have. We have to stay, but. Are you faced with this guy? And we'll lose two yet. Yeah? 16. Draw how many cards? Some cards and discard some cards. I think we just cast Always Watching here. Oh no, he gets some tap. Three lands, I think it is, something like that. No, two lands. Just the wind. Okay, return a creature. I would have bounced the 5-5. Five five. I was going to do 5 damage to the 5-5. Five five. Okay. Fair enough. That was, a good, that was a good draw for him. That was a really good draw for him. And we're still crunchy for damage. Still come crunchy crunchy for damage. Still come crunching in for damage. I'm gonna play Tardis Tracker first, I think. And play land. And play Skyrider off again. Yep, we lose two again. I mean, sooner or later you're gonna run out of spells. Oh, talent telepath, okay. We're not gonna find much apart from what? Decoration is down? There's only two of them in the deck. He found one of them! Found one of them! That is pretty crazy, guys. But he found one of my decoration is down. That's pretty mad. Uh we've got for always watching. Obviously. We'll attack for damage. Um I'm quite happy taking two here. I'm pretty confident we've got this. He's on one life. Can't see it's turning around for me. 
can't see it in around. We're gonna get to you playing. We're definitely gonna get to you playing. And I think it's gonna be 3 0 no, when I can't seem to do 12 damage. Not in this place in time, no way. Another lightning axe. Well, we will just tap, chase down, I think. Cheers for the games, and yeah, that was really good. A good result for the deck. Uh, nice three nil victory. I did enjoy uh, playing the deck. Was really really good. Uh, very creature heavy, but wow, good. I did enjoy the the deck a lot. Anyway, guys, if you really like stuff, like, comment, subscribe. You know, share with your friends, and we will see you on uh, Monday now for the duelist. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.